That old-timey music is Country Music Hall of Fame duo the Leuven Brothers, and it's coming from inside the home of the very man who built Leuven's guitar. And all of his work is done in the front half of his tiny St. Augustine home. So tell, tell me some of the guitars you came across your uh, workshop. Oh, man, there's so many of you them. Know, like uh, New Christy Minstrels, uh, uh, Beach Boys, Charlie Pride. Merle Hager. He left out Johnny Cash and Paul McCartney and Waylon Jennings and Hank Jr. and Roy Clark and Porter Wagner and Ricky Nelson and Peter, Paul and Mary, even Elvis. Oh, I just love music and I love the people in it, you know, I mean, I just love doing it. And uh, it's not stressful, won't tell me so. It's just a natural thing to me, you know. Fifty years ago, Berger, then a cabinet maker, landed a job at guitar maker C.F. Martin and Company in his native Pennsylvania. Martin guitars are now and were then arguably the best acoustic guitars in the world. And it turns out Berger was very good at fixing and building guitars. In 1972, poor health forced him to leave Martin for Florida, where he found a climate good for his lungs and for building and selling his own high-end guitars, which he's done ever since. I, I, I'm sure you have... Um, after you have either built a guitar or worked on a guitar, heard that guitar in performance or on a record. Oh, yeah. And what's that feeling like? Oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it's a tap the top. See how, see how it, it resonates? Yeah. You know, like a bound stone, you know, with the, between the, the bass and the treble. So you're hearing something the rest of the world's not. So, <laughs> In his 50th year as a luthier, he still puts in 40 hours a week in his living room workshop, building 10 to 12 burger guitars a year. Legendary bluegrass folk artist Peter Rowan's a longtime burger guitar player. In December, he headlined a benefit concert in St. Augustine to raise money for Burger's medical bills. And right before the show, Rowan picked up his latest Burger guitar. It's the beauty there on stage and, uh, with him. I kind of came in and it was like, I haven't seen Paul in a few months, and he kind of looked with his eyes down there and he said, that's it. <laughs> and I, I opened the case right away. <laughs> and uh, kind of... note I try and play, it plays back a few that I didn't know were there. There are Honduras mahogany, which you can't get anymore either. Berger is 77 now and has trained his son to take over for him. Gosh, that's pretty. Look at someday. this uh... But standing in the way of now and someday is a certain red-headed stranger. Is there any person, uh, any player you've always wanted to build a guitar for that so far you haven't? Yeah, Willie Nelson. <laughs> Willie Nelson. Yeah. He, he, I'm going to work on it. <laughs> Either way, Berger's legacy is secured and his contributions to music immeasurable. There is a very good chance that somewhere in your own music collection is the sound of Paul Berger's work done from the living room workshop of his tiny St. Augustine home. I have a partner in Paul and in the instrument he made. Thank you, Paul, very much.